Roblox is making headlines again this time with a controversial update that's stirring up the community. Yes, you heard it right folks. The notorious Roblox scammer who was banished from the platform six years ago has been mysteriously unbanned. This twist has left the community in a whirlwind of confusion and concern. But that's not all. The platform's desktop application has seen some minor changes too. The spacing between buttons has been subtly reduced, hinting at a potential revamp of the website layout. This move, while seemingly insignificant, could have a profound impact on user experience. And that's not the end of the story. PlayStation users are in for a treat as Roblox introduces trophies for a plethora of in-game achievements. A small change, but one that's sure to be appreciated by the gaming community. The unbanning of a notorious scammer and the minor changes to the platform have left the Roblox community in a state of shock and bewilderment. Adding fuel to the fire, the notorious Roblox scammer Robuxian who was banned in 2018 has seemingly returned with an unbanned channel. This unexpected turn of events has left the community buzzing with speculation. After six long years in the shadows, Robuxian has made a surprising comeback. Despite the lengthy absence, it's quite astonishing that the channel still retains a significant number of subscribers. This raises a slew of questions about YouTube's data management. How can a banned channel maintain a subscriber base for so long? Along with the return of Robuxian, we are also seeing a revival of his infamous videos. Remember my mom banned me from playing Roblox so I got this tattoo? Yep, it's back, and it's causing quite a stir. The return of a banned scammer has raised serious questions about the platform's security and data management. This resurgence is stirring up debates about the effectiveness of Roblox's ban system and whether it needs a serious overhaul. In other news, Roblox has come under fire from a news outlet leading to a backlash on social media. The news outlet in question, Journal D Record, recently published a report casting Roblox in a less than flattering light. This report focused on potential risks associated with playing on the platform, particularly highlighting a few specific games that were deemed problematic. Now the backlash on social media has been swift and significant, especially in Brazil. Users are criticizing the report for its narrow and somewhat skewed perspective, arguing that it paints an unfairly negative image of Roblox. The critics argue that the report fails to take into account the platform's age restrictions and parental controls, which are designed to keep younger players safe. This criticism is not unfounded. Roblox is a platform designed for all ages, with strict age restrictions in place to limit access to certain content for younger users. Additionally, the platform has robust parental controls that allow parents to monitor and limit their child's activity. The report's failure to acknowledge these safety measures has caused quite a stir in the community. Users are questioning the accuracy and fairness of the report, sparking a lively debate on social media platforms. There's a sense of frustration among users who feel that the media is overlooking Roblox's efforts to create a safe and inclusive platform. The media's portrayal of Roblox has sparked a fierce debate about the platform's safety measures and age restrictions. Finally, some bizarre user-generated content items have raised eyebrows within the Roblox community. A world of creativity and fun, Roblox has always been a platform where users can create and share their own items. But recently, a few unusual items have surfaced that have left the community scratching their heads. Take for instance the red tentacle waist accessory. It's an odd choice for an accessory to say the least, and has left many wondering how it managed to pass moderation. Similarly, a stomach-invading item has also been creating quite a stir. It's an unsettling sight, and has left many users questioning its appropriateness for a platform that's popular among children. The dissatisfaction is palpable among the community, as these peculiar items have left people concerned about the moderation process on Roblox. Are the checks and balances in place sufficient? Are they working as they should? These peculiar UGC items have left users questioning the platform's moderation and content control. In conclusion, Roblox is juggling a mix of updates, controversies, and unusual UGC items. The controversial update has raised eyebrows, with the unbanning of a notorious scammer and minor changes to the platform. The media coverage, though negative, has sparked discussions on platform safety and age restrictions. And let's not forget the peculiar UGC items that have left the community bemused. As Roblox continues to evolve, the community eagerly awaits how the platform will address these controversies and improve the overall user experience.